Hey guys, what is up? It's Zenazor here, and today I have a video for you reviewing a product for the iPhone 4 and 4S. This is the iPhone 4 and 4S iPico projector from Kidigi. Kidigi right there. Now, surprisingly, Kidigi is not the company that sent this to me. Mugen Power Batteries did, and you can find Mugen Power Batteries at mugen-power-batteries.com. I will have a link for them down in the video description down below, as well as the link to this product, so you guys can go check it out. Um, this is a pretty nice product, and thank you so much to Mugen Power Batteries for sending this out to me because this is really nice. Now, the whole thing about this is that it is a projector, speaker, um, you can use this as an external battery to charge your iPhone, but with all that said and done, this is $237, so that is not exactly the cheapest thing in the world, and it's kind of expensive for the average person. It's basically the same price as a brand new iPhone 4, 4S, give and take a little bit of money, but it is not the cheapest thing in the world, especially when it comes to iPhone accessories. Usually, your average case is going to be like 30 bucks, and you're good, and that's basically it. But um, this is a heavy-duty case. Now, I wouldn't really describe this as a case because it doesn't really offer that much protection. It really has nothing to offer on the protection side. I mean, maybe a little bit on the back, nothing on the front, really, or sides. But it is not exactly what I'd call your OtterBox Defender. And um, it's not really that designed for protecting your iPhone. As you can probably tell, the iPhone is actually above the surface of the side of the case. So there actually is zero lay on the table design. Um, luckily for me, I have a skin on, but that doesn't really protect my iPhone that much. Um, cases do that more. Now, the good thing about this is that if you're wearing a skin... Uh, such as a skin on the front or on the side or anything like that, it actually will support it. I had a skin on this, and I still have a skin right now. There's a skin right here on the iPhone 4 uh, and 4S carbon fiber skin, and uh, I have a skin on the side right here, and that worked fine. It's not causing any problems, and um, it fits just as well as it did without the skin, so there is really no problem there. Now, aside from that, really no protection. So I'm done with the protection stuff. Let's talk about what this actually gives you. So, this is the projector right here. It sticks out from the front. In order to uh, display it, you're going to have to hold it like this, and whatever is in front of your iPhone is going to get lit up with a projector. Now, the projector emits 15 lumens, which is fairly bright, so you can use it as a flashlight. It does create quite a bright glow. Um, it's definitely not the same quality as the retina display on the iPhone, so if you're going to look for something that emits insanely high quality uh, fixtures and video you just cannot get that anywhere so this is probably the highest quality you're going to get and it does HD it's it's pretty high quality the only thing is that um, it is a little bit darker in some areas um, you really have to be in almost complete darkness to see it vividly I mean you can it can be really dim but that's just really about as far as it goes um, medium brightness to high brightness you really can't see whatever's on the screen um, so that is just the whole thing with that. Now, when you're using this, you're probably wanting to have higher quality audio if you're going to have higher quality video and a larger screen. So when you usually have a larger screen, you also want a lot more audio. So instead of using your not really high quality speakers that are in the iPhone stock body, uh, they give you speakers on the back, right here and right here. Now the thing is, you can't choose which one to use. You can't choose to use the iPhone sound system or this one. Once you plug it in and you turn on the projector, it's going to use all the projector stuff. And the iPhone is going to think that this is an HDMI cable, and it's going to not play any of the audio or video out of the iPhone. All the audio and video is going to be on the projector projecting outwards. So you will not see anything on the screen, and you will not be able to really control the volume at all. All the volume will be controlled from this thing right here, the volume rocker. Um, it's all chromed out. Top, bottom, lower volume right here. Increased volume over there. So it has some nice tactile feedback. It's very nice. But um, you will not be able to use headphones with this. So that may be something that some of you guys may not like. You can't really use headphones with this if you are planning on projecting it across a screen or a large amount of wall and uh, listening to it with headphones. Now, then again, if you're going to be projecting it in such a large space, you're probably not going to be by yourself, or you're probably going to be by yourself, and uh, maybe it's in your room, you're projecting it onto your wall, and you can listen to it with headphones. Now, if you're just out in public, you probably don't want to project anything, so that's fine. But usually you'd only be projecting stuff in your own house or projecting it where it's all your property and no one really cares about whether you're playing audio. Because if you're playing a gigantic size screen onto a wall, that is probably going to make some people uncomfortable. 
um, because they don't want this big screen thing behind them. So if people are not uncomfortable with that, they're probably not going to be uncomfortable with you playing audio out of here, out of the speakers, and not listening to it with headphones. Um, personally, I don't mind because if I'm going to be projecting something, I'm just going to just going to use the speakers. I don't really care about using headphones, and that's just not what I do. But other you guys might want to do that. It's just a whole mix thing of what, who wants this, who wants that. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not really possible to get everything in this product. I mean, you probably have to pay a lot more to get everything you guys wanted, and it, this still has a lot. So I basically covered everything. Uh, actually, no, I did not cover this focus ring. This is a focus ring. Uh, when you use the projector, you're going to have to focus it depending on which distance. From around 2 meters away from whatever you're projecting on, say I'm 2 meters away from my wall, I can get a 60-inch image, which is pretty nice, and that's pretty large, and it does have a very nice quality contrast, and it does look pretty good. Not, as I said, not as high quality as the retina display, but it is still pretty high quality. Now, when you go to the back of this, well, actually the bottom, uh, there are two little switches, well, switch positions, it's one switch, but when you go to the left, iPhone's going to turn on because it is going to be charging. You can charge this, this has a 2100 milliamp uh, battery, so this is, I think, 1.5 times larger than the iPhone's battery. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it is larger than the iPhone's battery, so you will be able to charge your iPhone up very quickly, and uh, it is going to charge it up more than one time, from zero to 100, and maybe some after that. Now that is the position in which charging. To slide it to the middle, nothing happens, and this is just going to be like a case, nothing is going to be happening. Then, if you want to turn on the projector, slide it to the right and hold it for a couple seconds, and the blue light flashes, and then you have a projection right there, and as Kid EG, and that is a pretty high quality image, and it's extremely bright in my room, and I have full LED lights, and those are really bright, and, um, but, see, I'm using the focus knob, if I turn it all the way to the left, it's going to get blurry, Turn it all the way around in the middle, it's going to get less blurry until you got some nice contrast right there, and then that looks good. So really, you can really customize how you want this to go. Uh, from large distances, you can focus it out, zoom in, all that kind of stuff. So it's very good that you can do that. And to simply shut it off, you can either slide to the left for quickly doing that, and you'll go straight into charging mode. Or if you're projecting like this, all you got to do is slide it to the right and hold it and then it will shut off right there. So the only thing is that once you're using the projector, you can't be charging at the same time. Now that is pretty reasonable. It only has a 2100 milliamp battery, and if you're running a projector and charging the iPhone, it's just not going to mix. Plus, when you charge your iPhone, you don't really use it, or at least normal people don't use their iPhone when they charge it, because that's just counterproductive. You're going to not really charge that much. You're going to charge at an extremely slow rate, and that's just not good for anything. So that's really why people... I guess they thought that people wouldn't do that, and I agree, I don't really charge my iPhone and use it at the same time, that's just preposterous in my opinion, but that's really the whole gist of what this is, and uh, now let's see a test of how this looks on a wall. Alright guys, so it is reasonably dark in my room, and uh, I have turned on the projector, as you can tell right here, and that is really bright, um, it's very good as a flashlight, <laughs> uh, but so this is the position it's going to look. Um, there's really nothing on the screen. It says right here, TV connected, this video is playing on the TV, so it thinks that it's playing on the TV, therefore it's not wasting the battery life on turning on the display, because you're looking at it through a TV. Now, you're obviously not looking at it through the TV, you're just looking at it on the screen of a projector, which is right there. Now, this is right now not bright at all, um, but... My room is not dark, it's dim. I'm just showing you guys how it looks in dim light uh, because you're probably not going to go through the trouble of shutting everything off in the middle of your day to just project something out of your iPhone. So this is usually the light you'd be in if you want to project it. Now, the blue light is flashing, and when the blue light is flashing, that means that the projector is on. Now, when we shut it off, it's actually going to end the video, which is really annoying because what if I just want to go back to the video without stopping it? So that just gets annoying. But it's just something that happens. So now the video is going to play like this. It's like that. But I'm going to switch the mode. As you can see, the video just started. But I'm going to switch the mood. And now it is on my screen. So let me see how I can do this. I'm going to put it over there. Right above my bed. And okay. Now I'm going to play the video, and we'll see how this goes. I'll actually turn up the audio. Hey guys, what is up? It's Dean Zoic here, and today I have a video for you.
doing because... Now, as you guys can probably tell, that was some okay audio. That wasn't exactly the greatest audio in the world. That was actually pretty sucky. Now, the reason for that is because, well, when you're doing stuff like this, my voice coming through a camera is not exactly the perfect audio. Um, when you're going to be using this, you're probably going to be watching like high-quality movies that have been recorded with several high-quality mics. For example, when you're going to be looking at Avatar and you want to watch that, you're probably going to get some nice audio. I mean, my voice is not exactly perfect coming through this mic because the mic itself is just the camera mic and it's not exactly the most expensive mic and high quality mic in the world. That said, I wish these speakers were slightly more, I don't know, better and put out some higher fidelity audio because you do pay $237 and I just wish they were slightly better. Now, the image on the screen is actually not blurred, surprisingly, and uh, if I can hold it still, um, which I'm having a hard time doing because I'm so far away and slight moves just make it move that much. But, um, it is pretty good right now. Um, there is really no blur. And because I'm shooting it on an angle, it looks a little bit weird, but you get the picture. It is going to look pretty high quality and I think you guys are going to like it a lot. Um, so let's go back to the desk and I'll give you my final opinion on it. Alright guys, so hopefully you liked that review. Um, I don't really think this is for the average person. I mean, it's really nice, but it's not meant as a really big case to protect your iPhone. It's meant as an entertainment system, and it does put out some nice quality video and decent audio. Um, the audio is slightly better than the iPhones, but not amazing by any standard, uh, because there are definitely better mics out there and better speakers and all that kind of stuff. Audio and video wise, it is okay considering how much space you're actually using. Uh, this guy is actually the same, actually a little bit thicker than the iPhone itself, but because it's going right on the iPhone and the iPhone's sliding right in, you really get no extra bulk. So this is basically like two iPhones right here, two iPhones in your pocket, and that is how it's going to be. Personally, I liked it a lot, and I use it a lot because I do get some awesome battery charging out of this, and it's very easy to charge, so all you got to do is use this um, mini USB port, and uh, you'll be able to charge it up very easily. You'll get a green flashing light right there, and you'll be good to go. Personally, I liked it a lot. It's very easy to get the focus to work. You can focus it very easily. Um, it does get pretty loud, and the high-quality video is pretty amazing for how much room it's actually taking up. And I think I would give this a 9 out of 10. Uh, the only reason is because the audio could be a little bit better, and the price is just a lot. But um, this is definitely a very nice product, and all my friends are raving about it. Like, they all want this, and... They wish they could get it because their parents just don't want them to get it because they don't want to spend the money on it. But if you have the money, which $200, I think it's pretty much worth it because you do get some good charging out of this and you can use this as an entertainment system. So my 9 out of 10 is just my opinion. Maybe you guys don't like it. Maybe you guys like it. Hopefully you guys do. This is a very, very, very nice product and I liked it a lot. Hopefully you guys will like it too. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. That is at Dinosaur. Go check out Mugen Power Batteries. Big thank you to them. Go check out Kadigi if you want to see what they made, how they made it, all that kind of stuff. And peace. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Also, you guys can go share this with your friends. Favorite, like, and comment on this video. Also, feel free to check out the previous video, which you can see right here. Annotation is right there, and go ahead and click on it.